All right, so we've done the basics of SlideShare, and now we're ready to do some of the more advanced things. Uh, there's a couple things I want to show you how to do here. Um, really, two main things is how to share your presentations that you've uploaded, you or your students, and also how to do a kind of a conference, which is a really neat tool. All right, so here I am in my public profile again. Here are my two presentations I've uploaded. I'm going to click on this one, which is an old one. Uh, it turns out this is a flashback. This is probably 1999, second year of teaching. Um, yep, there it is, second year of teaching. Anyway, uh, to share this out, here's what you could do. You can do it in a couple different ways. First thing is, this URL right here is a persistent URL, which means you can take this URL and you can copy it and paste it to a website and wherever you want to send it. They would click on this link and would take them right to this page where they could comment on it. Uh, download it and share it themselves. Another way you can share this out is to embed the presentation. Here I've got the embed code. All I would do is copy and paste that into my blog, website, Weebly, kid blog, whatever takes embed code, you could put it right in there. It would put this box in that people can then uh, click through and also download the presentation straight from your website. You can customize that embed code. So if I wanted to be a little bit bigger, start from which slide number, um, take it without related content, which means it would just be a very clean looking uh, code. Also, you can email this out to people in your contact lists, send it with a me uh, message. So there's different ways to share this. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, not only can you share it, oh I forgot to tell you, you can also share this via Twitter or Facebook. Um, or LinkedIn actually and all that would do is if I click on Twitter it would bring up a box and it would allow you to t uh, put in your Twitter account and share it right through Twitter alright I do want to show you this other cool tool this is really neat uh, this is a really neat feature it's called a zipcast and what this does is you can start a zipcast and really it's a web conference um, with your presentation as a background and you can invite people to it and uh, talk about the presentation. So you can make it either public or private. For this purpose I'm going to show you the public. Click on Start Zipcast. What it will do is give you a box here. I can tweet this out. So if I want other people to join me I could tweet out this Zipcast and people could come in here and see it. I'm not going to tweet it out today. Also if you want to share this out I want to show you the URL. So if I want to invite people, put it as a link on a site, um, say maybe 2 o'clock, uh, we're going to have a web conference on this presentation. You would just put this link, and as soon as they click on this link, it would bring them to this page. You can also use a webcam, so I'm going to put allow here. I don't know if this will work or not. Here I am, my house. Close that video. And you can chat right in here in this box. So not only do you have a chance to go through the presentation, participants that come on will be right down here you can chat about the presentation and you can broadcast video and speak to them directly as you are giving your presentation so that's a really cool feature of, of SlideShare is the Zipcast alright so that's pretty much it as far as the more advanced things uh, SlideShare is a very straightforward tool you upload presentations you can share them you can comment it's really cool to use with students and I hope you have a good time mm -hmm.